Good morning, and welcome to Redeemer Lutheran Church. I'm Pastor Gary Lodholt. It's not Holy Week yet. Holy Week begins next week as we walk through those final days with Jesus before his crucifixion. And yet, already our minds are turning to Jesus and what he means to us. And one way to begin thinking about that one way to begin exploring the multifaceted ways Jesus brings meaning to our lives is through some of the titles we have given to Jesus. So each day this week, we will briefly explore three of those titles. That means what we will do together won't be exhaustive. That also means that you will have opportunity to continue thinking about the titles we discuss each day and what they mean to you. The first title we'll explore is Bridegroom. One of the things I used to be careful to do at wedding rehearsals is to warn the groom about his shoes. Don't let them out of your sight, I would tell him as he looked at me with a strange expression. But you see, there used to be a part of the wedding service where he and his bride would kneel before the altar. And sometimes if the congregation looked, they could see that some jokester had painted H-E on one shoe bottom and L-P on the other. The funny thing is that help is what the title of bridegroom is all about. It's not something we talk about a whole lot, but the idea of Jesus as the bridegroom and the church as his bride is really a very strong theme running throughout the Bible. And when you take it all the way back, you have to remember that the relationship between Adam and Eve was one of helping. And help from Jesus is just what we need. Jesus fulfills all the roles of a bridegroom. He cares for us with a love deeper than we can understand. He provides for us and our needs. He seeks for the good he can do for us. He commits himself faithfully to us. And in the end, he gives all he is for us. How incredible it is that he loves us so. My father used to love this joke. I remember him telling it over and over. Do you know why, he would say, do you know why the newspaper prints pictures of the brides but not the grooms? It's because people like to see the winners, not the losers. My friends, as the bride of Christ, we are the greatest winners of all. The second title today is Brother. I once found a story about a man named Paul who got a new car as a Christmas gift from his brother. On Christmas Eve, as he came out of his office and headed over to his shiny new car, he found a young boy, obviously poor, staring at the automobile. Is this your car, mister? He asked as Paul drew near. And Paul nodded. Yes, my brother gave it to me for Christmas. The boy looked astounded. You mean it didn't cost you nothing? Your brother just gave it to you? Boy, I wish. The boy hesitated and Paul knew just what he was going to say. He was going to wish that he had a brother like that. But when the boy spoke, he said an incredible thing. I wish, the boy went on, I wish that I could be a brother like that. My friends, the truth is we have a brother like that. In Jesus, we have a brother who has dedicated himself and all that he is to our good. He is a brother who watches over us, who cares for us, who dies for us. We are part of a family here, a family of sharing our joys and sorrows, our hurts and our triumphs together. And as Christ has lived and loved for us, so we should live and love for each other. I wish we could all be brothers and sisters like that. Finally, for today, we will consider Jesus as a carpenter. When I lived in prosperity serving my first church, there was room behind the parsonage for a garden. I plowed and planted and picked corn and butter beans and tomatoes and cucumbers, and I loved it. 
It was a wonderful experience to work the dirt, to plant a seed, and then in the end to hold a very real fruit of my labor. I think Jesus must have felt some of that as a carpenter too. Isn't it interesting that Jesus, who was so much a part of creation and building the universe, spent time on earth as a carpenter, building and creating things here. I'm sure he worked hard at his trade. I'm sure he did his job well. I'm sure the things he built and fashioned were practical, sturdy, and useful, but I'm also sure they were done with love, care, and craftsmanship too. And I think this title for Jesus offers us hope and comfort in our lives because it says so much about Jesus being human like us. It says so much about how he understands our lives and our livelihoods. It says so much about him sharing what it is to be us and us in the end sharing eternity with him. Jesus was a carpenter and maybe he still is today. For in his coming, in his death, in his life everlasting, he builds a home for you and for me. Thanks for watching, and remember to let this day belong to God.